What's going on guys, Shane here. And today I have for you a full length home boxing workout that you can follow along to. Today's focus is gonna be on punch speed and endurance. We're gonna be working the upper body, the shoulders, the arms, the chest, the core, the back, so you can get all cock diesel in quarantine and also work on your boxing skills. And you don't need any equipment or partner for these drills. This is actually day three of six of a home MMA training regimen that Vince the Anomaly and I put together for you all completely free on fighttips.com. There's a link in the description below. You can watch all six videos. You don't even have to sign up for a membership. But if you do, you'll also get access to our 18-step shadow boxing program, our hybrid striking course, our MMA IQ roadmap, our stretching videos, all of that, including the forum. So check it out. Links in the description below. Also, one quick announcement, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific time, I'm gonna go live with my fighter, Ricardo, and we're gonna do a workout right on Instagram Live. Live. So follow me, at Shane Faison, link's also in the description below for that. Add a reminder in your phone so you can join in and see the exact workouts that I put my fighters through, and you can join in. All right, so no excuses. You got all these free resources to get that training in, to evolve, to transform, so you come out of this quarantine, people will be like, who is that? I won't even recognize you. You're gonna be a complete different person, but you gotta put the work in. So let's get started with today's workout. What's up guys? Day three, welcome back. We got boxing today and explosive push. So we're gonna be doing a lot of plyometrics. We're gonna be throwing fast punch combinations, but also working our agility and footwork as well. You know it's gonna be a good one because I just got sweat already because I filmed the workout already and now I'm filming the intro afterwards. Anyway, I'll shut up. Let's do it. Let's get started with some boxing. All right, starting off with our traditional head to toe dynamic full body warm up. Hands on the hips, up to the ceiling, down to the floor. Let's get 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Left and right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Ear and shoulder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna rotate the arms backwards. Like I said, you can keep the arms bent or you can go straight. Let's do a little of both. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to twist. You can throw hooks or you can keep your arms and your hands on your hips. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get that torso, side body, low back stretch. Grabbing forearms, left knee, left elbow. Notice how I really turn that elbow out, stretches the side body. Then I come up, hips forward, knee to the opposite elbow, and then we switch directions, go the opposite way. We're gonna get 10 reps of these. Halfway there. Make sure you're breathing. Filling up that side body, feeling the ribs stretch as you inhale. Two more. Last one. And we're just gonna bounce in place, warm up the calves. We're gonna do this before we hit our squats so we can get nice and deep. Pass that 90 degree bend. And good, let's do it. Let's hit our squats. So toes are facing slightly outward, just about shoulder width, maybe slightly more. Drop all the way down. And before I talked about spreading the earth, so you can see this line right down the middle of me. Imagine if I'm trying to slide the mats out as I go down and as I come up, I'm trying to push them apart. It's gonna drive the knees out, keep the knee joints safe. It's gonna make the legs stronger. Let's get four more. One, two, three, four. All right, simple, easy, basic, but we make sure that we get all the muscles from the head to toe. Neck, shoulders, core, hips, legs, calves. Now we're gonna to go to a boxer's bounce, just as it sounds. So hands are gonna come up, Try to keep them up at eyebrow level. It's a good safe point. It's a high guard, but it's better than keeping your normal resting right here. Leaves your whole face exposed. So hands up, eyebrow level, and we're just gonna bounce in place. Now don't worry about getting height. Picture low ceilings. Don't bump your head on the ceiling. So we're only bouncing enough to slide a piece of paper underneath of our feet. 
Very good. Now let's start going forward and back. So we'll go towards our imaginary opponent and back. Again, staying low to the ground. Hands are staying up. Elbows are staying in. So don't let the elbows flare out like this. We're just going to eat your body up. All right, so right here. The other thing is try to keep equal distance between your feet. So don't do this. Don't do this. Do this. Good. Now we're going to switch our stance. Back. Now we're in southpaw. Same thing. Forward and back. And switch your stance back. Now, every time we go in, every time we go towards them, I want you to pump a jab. All right, but make it count. I want, to, want you to think that when you land this, you're gonna break someone's nose. Knock a tooth out, ready? Bang, bang, bang. Forward and back, forward and back. On your way in, you're pumping the jab. On your way back, you're retracting it back to guard. Eyebrow level. And switch your stance. Same thing in southpaw, opposite hand now. Bang, bang, bang. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch your stance. Now we're gonna go forward with the jab, back, rotate on the cross. Forward on the jab, back, rotate on the cross. Let's do it. Bang, back, bang, back, bang, back, bang, bang. One more. Bang. Switch your stance. Same thing in southpaw. Switch back to orthodox, and let's just bounce again. All right, now we're gonna work on quick switches. More of a Taekwondo movement here, but either way, great for agility, great for the calves. So we're gonna switch from orthodox to southpaw. To orthodox to southpaw. Now one tip here is try not to move in semicircles with your feet. Don't go out, try to go straight line. It's almost like you're gonna bang your feet together. Back, 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 all right? So we're bouncing, we switch, 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 switch. Let's do two switches in a row. Switch, switch. Again, two in a row, go. Again, go. Give me three this time. One, two, three. Give me two, go. One, two. Give me two, go. One, two. Give me two, go. One, two. Give me five. One, two, three, four, five. Time. All right, guys. Quick rest. Then we're going to go to the full workout. Here we go, guys. Picking up the intensity, picking up the speed now. We're going to do two different fight movements, and then we're going to do a couple of different plyometric exercises. Okay? So the first fight movement that we're going to do, fast uppercuts. As fast as you can. For 30 seconds. All right? Then we're going to drop down into a low squat and we're gonna do plyo push-ups, but watch. We're gonna drop all the way down, keep the 90 degree bend, feet are facing out. We're gonna drop down, catch yourself, and explode back up. Fall back down, catch yourselves, explode back up. Now, if your legs are too tired from yesterday's workout with Vince, go from your knees, all right? Try to keep your back and body straight from your shoulders down to your knees, everything is straight. Exploding right back up. All right, from here, we're going to go high, low planks. So I start in a high plank, like a Top of a push up, drop down to the elbows, back up, back down, back up, back down, back up. All right, then from here, we're going to do shoulder taps. So bringing hand to the opposite shoulder. Try not to rotate the body, try to keep your hips squared to the ground, like this. Minimal movement, minimal sway. All right, then we stand it up, and then we go explosive one twos, as fast as hard as you can. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds of that. Then you're gonna have a chance to take a quick rest, pause the video, rewind it, do it all again. Then you're gonna rewind it and then do it for a third set. All right, let's get it started. All right, in position, we got 30 seconds, fast uppercuts as fast as you can. March your feet in place, stay low to the ground, knees bent, and just circle formation as fast as hard as you can with those uppercuts. 30 seconds in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. Come on. Keep that speed up. Almost there. Keep 
You're ready to drop down in about five, four, three, two, one. Down to a low squat or on your knees for plyo push ups. Thirty seconds of this here, guys. Starting to feel that fatigue, that burn. That's good. We got less than ten seconds. Embrace it. Feel good about it. Three, two, one. Start a high plank. Drop to a low plank. Back up to a high plank. Back down to a low plank. Thirty seconds here. Keep the core tight. Try not to sway. Try to keep the hips squared to the ground. Halfway there. If you have to do these from your knees, that's fine. Three, two, one. Now we're going shoulder taps. Hand to opposite shoulder. Again, try to keep the hips squared to the ground. Don't sway. Now these are a little bit easier, so we're gonna do an additional 30 seconds of these. We've got 60 seconds. Don't let that scare you, don't give up. Stay in a high plank if you have to. I'd rather you rest right here. Otherwise, keep moving. We got this, we're already 30 seconds down, guys. Just gotta do that one more time. Think about all the benefits you're getting here. Shoulder endurance, core work, burning calories, getting stronger, getting better. We're almost there. Less than 20 seconds. Get them boulder shoulders, baby. I feel them growing. I feel them growing. We're standing up in three, two, one. Finish strong, ones and twos. Ah! Come on, faster. Come on, harder. The only way to get faster is to move faster. Push through that lactic acid burn. Push through that fatigue. Full extension, full retraction. You notice I'm going from south pole to ortho with the sprinkler drill. Almost there, eight seconds to go. Ah, ah. Three, two, one. Whew. Sweat is dripping from the forehead. That's a good sign. All right, so give yourself a quick rest. If you can do it in 30 seconds, great. A minute, that's good. Two minutes, that's fine. However long you have to take to get that energy back, but you gotta push yourself, all right? Pause the video, rewind it, go right back to fast uppercuts, and then carry through, do this three times. All right, you should be feeling good now. I know I do, and I only did one set, so if you did three, you should be good to go. If you want to get a little bit more extra work in, do some shadow boxing, freestyle for a round, for three rounds, for five rounds, two minutes, three minutes, get that work in, work your defense, work your offense, footworks, feints, and then feel free to get ideas from the other courses on this website, right? We got the 18 step footwork shadow boxing program. We got the hybrid striking course. We have Vince Anomaly's MMA IQ roadmap, tons and tons, hundreds of drills, literally hundreds of drills on there that you can find ideas for techniques, concepts, and strategies. So make sure you check it out. All right, now from here, we're gonna get our stretch in. So we're gonna go right to a child's pose. What I'm gonna have you guys do is drop down to your knees, tops of your feet are on the ground. You're gonna sit your butt back to your heels and I want you to just reach your arms forward. All right, sit the, the butt back and you feel that stretch all across your back, but especially the low back. Now the most important part of stretching, just as a reminder, is to breathe. So get that full inhale and feel the, the low back and the entire back just fill up with oxygen, like there's balloons in there and you're just filling them up to max capacity. Go ahead, deep breath. A little bit more. Full exhale. Even if you have to force it out. Tighten up the abs a little bit. Inhale, full. Exhale. Good. Walk your fingers out to the left, crawl them out, and what you'll feel is a side body stretch in the right side of the body here. And again, when you inhale, feel like there's a balloon here pushing the ribs out, spreading the space in between each rib with the lungs. Deep inhale. Full exhale. 
Again, just like that. One last time, get three breaths. Exhale, full. Good, now just crawl your hands over to the other side. Move your own pace here, guys. If I'm going too slow or too fast for you, move your own pace. All we're doing is just three breaths per stretch, okay? So again, deep inhale, stretching that left side of the body now, expanding that balloon. And you can always, always, always do more. Five breaths, 10 breaths. One more. Good, bring the arms back to center. And now I'm gonna have you fold your hands together like we did uh, in class one, where we brought our hands to our chest, heart center. But now I want you to bring your thumb to the back of your neck and sort of drag the elbows on the ground and you'll feel that stretch in the triceps, right in the backs of the arms here. There are a lot of push-ups today, a lot of punches. The triceps will work a lot, so we wanna make sure that we stretch those out so they're ready to go for tomorrow. We can avoid injury, quicken our recovery. Let's get one more breath. Okay, good. Now from here, we're going to stay in a child's pose position, but I'm going to need to take your left hand and swoop it through. Thread the needle and keep that arm flat on the ground. Back of your hand on the ground, forearm, all the way down to the shoulder. And again, just like in our down dog, I want you to keep your shoulder away from your ear. So draw it down your back, away from your ear, away from your head. All right, so don't scrunch up like this. Really create space from your ear and your shoulder. And you should feel that stretch in the shoulder. We're also getting a slight twist here too, so you may even feel it in the low back. But what's most important is that we're breathing. Let's get one more breath. Full exhale. Slowly unthread the needle. Place that hand down. Right hand now swoops through. Arm is flat. Shoulder away from the ear. Rest the head on the ground. Three breaths. One more. Good. I'm gonna sit up now. I want you to just reach back behind you, place your hands on the ground. We're just going to stretch the fronts of our legs, the quads here, by just lifting the hips up, sort of bridging with the body, driving those hips, pushing the tops of the feet, the shins into the ground. You should feel that stretch in the quadricep muscles. Also stretching the shoulders a little bit too by doing this. In boxing, you throw a lot of punches. There's a big focus on the upper body. Of course, we work the lower body as well. But a lot of people tend to neglect stretching the shoulders. Very important. Okay? From here, let's sit down on our butt. Legs straight out in front. Take your right leg. Place it over top of your left. Take your left hand. Hug the right knee. We're going to get a twist again. So a different variation. The low back twist. But very similar to what we did in class one. Again, we inhale. We get tall. We exhale. We twist a little more. Again, inhale, exhale, last one, in, exhale, slowly unwind, switch the crossing of your legs, opposite hand hugs the opposite knee, and we twist. And guys, feel free to write these exercises down once you memorize them, and you don't want to hear my voice the whole time, you can do them on your own, right? And it's a good way, especially when you're stretching, to work on your mindset. Right, your awareness, um, a form of meditation, really. Let's get one more breath. But stretching, breathing, meditating, it's a great way of just working how mindful you are. Um, and mindful isn't just of you know, the things that are going on inside of your head, but it's also what's going on with your body. Feeling pain or discomfort and understanding that's an injury and it may need rest or some sort of massage. Um, understanding areas that are tight and just being aware of that, being mindful of 
parts of the body that you're neglecting or showing too much attention to. Right? So it's different things like that, understanding your body, understanding your mind. And the best way of doing that is just staying focused. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for joining me in this class. I'll see you guys again tomorrow to do some Taekwondo. We're going to be doing more footwork, more agility, uh, be working the flexibility in our legs and hips as well. Then you'll be back with Vince the following day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.